Hey, we're making sea salt caramel brownies today. The twist is they're gluten-free, dairy-free, and refined sugar-free. So let's get started. To start out, we're gonna be working on the caramel sauce first. Remember that the full recipe can always be found on our website, so just click the link in the video description. Go ahead and set your burner to medium heat and add your sugar. We're gonna be melting the sugar down, but coconut sugar melts differently than normal cane sugar. To help the process along, we're going to add one third cup of water. In order to prevent the sugar from burning along the edges, wipe the sugar mixture away from the edges of the pan every once in a while. Now is the time to add the Earth Balance Buttery Sticks. If you can eat dairy, regular butter works just as well. Make sure to stir it in really well so the mixture isn't clumpy. Once the butter is thoroughly melted, it's time to add in the coconut milk. Again, all you dairy eaters could just use heavy cream. Stir together and let it boil for one minute. Now that the time is up, it's a good time to add one teaspoon of vanilla for just a little extra flavor. Mix in your salt and take the caramel off the heat. And that's it for the caramel sauce. Now it's time to move on to making the brownies. Start by whisking together the almond flour, the potato starch, baking powder, and salt in a bowl. Next, combine the eggs, melted earth balance butter, vanilla, and almond extract. Now mix in the cocoa powder, chocolate chips, and the coconut sugar. Combine the chocolate mixture with the flour mixture from earlier and whisk the two together. Once combined, transfer the batter into the brownie pan of your choosing, but it should be around a nine inch by nine inch pan. Pour the caramel sauce over the batter and swirl it in nice and good. Then put it in the oven, bake it at 350 for about half an hour. You should be able to stick a toothpick in it and it should come out clean. Once they're done, I like to drizzle just a little bit more caramel sauce on top for a little boost of flavor. Thanks for watching our first video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. If there's something that you'd really love to see us make gluten-free, leave us a comment down below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.